uh, you have great ties in the Muslim community. How, what is the reaction that you've been hearing to this terrible shooting and situation? When the Muslim community has been aware that there's been a great deal of tension in France, there were several attacks uh, just two or three weeks ago by Muslims on non-Muslims in France. Uh, there have been attacks on mosques in Sweden, three attacks in one week. There's this huge procession in Dresden against Muslims. So there's been a general tension on the continent in Europe. And then, of course, this um, terrible tragedy takes place in Paris, which means Muslims are aware that this will be uh, something that will act as a catalyst for a backlash against Muslims. We're already seeing uh, various mosques attacked uh, in France. And uh, the fear that this will only make matters worse for a community that already feels under siege. So the uh, mad, I would say completely demented actions of a few individuals are going to plunge an entire community uh, into a crisis. So what steps do you think, uh, do you think, Abar, need to be taken to, if you can, uh, if, if possible, mend some fences and turn down the temperature, if you will, in this conversation? This is a very important, uh, very important question. And um, uh, after concluding my study, my field study in uh, Europe, looking at Muslims uh, on the continent, the conclusion, the preliminary conclusions uh, I've come to with my team are that the first step is for both the government, that's the French government or the German government or the Italian government, and Muslim leaders to work very closely together so that they are able to prevent uh, incidents like this from happening before, in fact, they do happen. Uh, these incidents are coming out of the blue, which means that the community is asleep, the government is asleep. It's, it's a double failure. And without this working together of these two separate uh, functions, separate organizations, uh, this, this menace will not be checked. So that's the first step. And the second step is for a greater understanding of both of each other. And that, in that, the media has to help because the media constantly puts forward all these terrible images without pointing out Muslims who have consistently tried to build bridges to create, uh, create uh, relationships, uh, alliances, uh, and therefore the Muslim community is projected in such a negative light. I'm reflecting what the Muslims feel on the continent, that that negative stereotype, in fact, simply feeds into more and more uh, hatred of Muslims and, in fact, Islamophobia. I'm wondering, is it worrying to you, Akbar, that immediately the French rallied around this satirical magazine, even though it wasn't necessarily uh, generally uh, appreciated or liked uh, necessarily in France, but uh, thousands came out in support with these signs that say, Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie, uh, as opposed to, you know, rallying around faith or, uh, or, or uh, the understanding of a different community. Does that worry you? Not at all. Uh, I'm an anthropologist. I understand society. That's very French. Uh, you have to go back to Voltaire uh, centuries ago. Who said I asked you a question. I really want to hear your answer. Agua, I'm sorry, but I've got to hop off right now. Perhaps we can talk again soon. Thank you very much. Forgive me for interrupting. And this is Arise America.